This fellow right here is called a foam roller. You can find it at any gym and inexpensive. You can also find it on Fitness Foundry website for a very good price. This is self myofascial release. Basically, in plain English, this is what physical therapists use and professionals use to make their muscles relax. Imagine your muscles is like a, a wrinkled shirt. At this time, it's totally contracted. When we use this type of foam rolling, this type of um, this type of stretching for your muscles, neuromuscular activation, it actually stretches out and flattens out your muscles. It becomes more efficient, better for your workout, better for your joints. Overall, it's, it, it enhances your um, your well-being. So we're going to first do your calves. Um, Raphael is going to get into the calf position. So one leg is going to cross over the other, right above the knee. Now you're going to notice um, his expression. You're going to inhale and you're going to roll back and forth until you find a knot. Wherever you find a knot, you're going to hold it there for 40 seconds is key. You find a knot? So right now he's going to hold it there for 40 seconds. Basically what's happening is his body, his muscles are sending a message to his brain that I'm in pain. His brain is going to send another message back saying, all right, I'm going to help you relax. This is similar to a, um, an active stretching when somebody's stretching your hamstrings for you. This is the same, um, same physiological effect. So actually roll back and forth for sake of time. He's going to roll back and forth. Normally you will hold it for 40 seconds and then you will roll back and forth. With time, if you do this consistently before a workout or after a workout, your muscles are going to become more conducive, more flexible, better, um, softer, and it's going to be more conditioned for strength training. All right, you're going too far, my friend, so let's change legs. Do the alternate, Al alternate leg. Very good. So find a knot. And you're going to hold it there for a couple of seconds. Normally you hold it for 30 to 40 seconds. And you hold it and you find a knot. How does it feel? Hurt. Hurt. Good, time. Good word. All right. So again, for sake of time, he, after 40 seconds, he will roll back and forth. Go back and forth completely. Ah, see, this is what happens when you don't foam roll. Foam roll. All right. So what I would like you to do is do your hamstrings and your glutes. So Rafael is going to scoot up and he's going to have the foam roller directly underneath his hamstrings, the middle of his hamstrings. He's going to roll from the back of his knees to the top of his glutes. Also, you should also know when your muscles are tense and contracted and not stretched out, basically you are adding more, you are more injury prone. This is an excellent tool for injury prevention. Um, continue till you find a knot and then hold it for 40 seconds. So as you saw Raphael, as he had the, the, the face, he found a knot, some tension. He was basically working out with that tension there without even knowing. So now as he is doing foam rolling, he's promoting muscle conditioning, muscle recovery, and regeneration. Very good. All right, so let's do our quads now, meaning our thighs. For many Americans, for many of us, we are quad dom dominant, meaning all of our weight, all of our movement, all of our strengths coming from our, our quads. We are using this muscle way too much because our muscles are not balanced. So Raphael is going to foam roll back and forth until he finds a knot. And once he finds a knot, he's going to hold it there for 40 seconds. And once again, it's sending a message to his brain to relax. And after that 40 seconds, he's going to roll back and forth. And with time, it's going to be pretty seamless. It's going to be very smooth for him. And it's going to help with his overall um, strength training and he's going to reach his goals much sooner and secondly it's going to help with injury prevention strengthen his joints too all right roll back and forth all the way from your knee to your hips a little bit more all right and come off and that's that i'm going to do one now very good all right this is just basic foam rolling techniques i'm going to show you two basic other techniques and this is for our hip muscles our lateral hip muscles um, not going to get technical here but these muscles are what we use to stabilize and balance ourselves so basically you have one leg straightened you lean to one side so right now I'm on the side of my glutes and I'm just going to roll back and forth until I find a knot any of us have knots here and then once I find it hold it for 40 seconds and continue very good. The next one, many of us are also have jobs 
that we're sitting down working on the computers, meaning our arms are extended. We, over, we overuse our latissimus, lat muscles back, and our shoulder muscles. So this exercise is an excellent relaxer for our muscles. Basically, you're gonna place it underneath your joint, shoulder joint, you're gonna have some weight there. The top leg is gonna be over your bottom leg to move you, and then you're gonna roll and forth. That's why in the squat, hold it for 40 seconds. Try not to, to scream. Then you smile and go back and forth. What you just witnessed was exercises that would definitely enhance any workout routines that you have. It's going to be a solid foundation for you. It's going to break you down essentially, but we will build you back up with a solid, solid core, solid stabilization, solid workout progression, right breathing, coordination, muscle imbalances um, will be a thing of the past. Um, I'm Julio Salado. I am the founder of Fitness Foundry. And if you have any questions, please email me at Julio Salado. S-A-L-A-D-O at hotmail.com. Um, fitnessfoundry.net is the website. 